it is one uh, small interesting topic like uh, and recently uh, using these conditions in my project also uh, like uh, you heard about uh, set operators and windows functions these two things we are going to discuss and uh, and and parallelly i will tell you some important important functions in a uh, string function important string functions wherever we are going to use in a real time uh, so we will discuss these things as well uh, uh, operators like complete operators almost we covered uh, it in our operators in the sense like we whatever uh, uh, we are using like uh, um, to minus and uh, uh, yeah, uh, in where condition you know, i think we have some uh, sort of we did that one Yeah. Equal uh, and uh, this is all for uh, the operators and in the same operators we have um, like uh, set operator. You can set set operator. Set operator. Then four types is there, like union, union all, in the set and accept, or we can call it minus also. This okay. Well, I'll have one example. I'll just uh, take the copy and paste. Just a second. Uh, Rakesh, my screen is visible. Rakesh, can you confirm? Yeah, visible. Uh, it is showing like a SSMS only, right? Oh, yes, SSM. SSM, right? Uh, SSMS, okay. Uh, SS. Mm. Okay. Is it anything like uh, it is showing any Excel file? No, no, no. Only SSM. Yes, so only SSM, my screen. Okay, fine, fine. Okay. So I would like to tell you with example for this. I have some uh, tables. Just take some Google. Our point is we have to uh, understanding properly. Now, what is mean by set operator? First, I would like to tell you what is mean by set operator. Set operators in the sense, uh, I think you you people also heard about and whenever you studied now, uh, just two things are like a four four operators are the union, union all, intersect, and accept. These 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 are the all are the set operators. We can say that, and even we can uh, everybody knows that union in the sense what union in the sense like. Uh, uh, It will uh, uh, combine two result sets. It will combine two result sets, but while doing that union, uh, the metadata should be the same from two two result uh, two queries. I'll show you with example also. Don't worry. And I'm telling that just the but, and we can say that union all. Uh, sorry, ah uh, union. Ah uh, union. What it does? It will take. It will combine the two result set. Will combine the two result set, but it will allow only unique data. Unique data is it repeated data? No, it doesn't allow. Okay, that is called union. Union all in the sense it is it is considering all the data. Like whether it is duplications also, it will take all uh, whatever data is there uh, from suppose result set one it is there by record and result set two it is there. Uh, like uh, yeah, uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, seven record. It will considering uh, if if we are using the union all, it will take almost twelve record. So that is union. At the same time, union what it do is suppose in the first result set five record, second result set seven record, but same results, uh, same two results are repeating uh, in a. Uh, even uh, second result. So then that time it will consider 
only 10 recursion the output whenever we are using pnn it will it will allow only two recursion uh, sorry 10 recursion it doesn't allow the duplication from uh, just a second i am i'm taking some sample example for easy understanding don't worry so especially for uh, writing uh, queries now like uh, in a real time uh, if you want to writing if you are developing any procedure now there is a occurrences like, uh, uh, like uh, you have to union all some results. Uh, so that in that point, uh, it is very important to, uh, to uh, it's very useful to, to merge two result sets in a single uh, result. In that time, it is very useful. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, I'll just created one sample table and uh, we'll do some operations on that. Yes, okay, uh, set operator. Set operator. First, we'll we'll discuss about uh, union. Then uh, union. Union is the one of the set operator. For this, uh, we are going to create a two tables. Okay. Uh, first one is uh, we have any sample tables, right? We'll see. I'll see my my my, my databases because uh, no need to take big tables because uh, there may be a chance to confuse. Uh, guys, I'll, uh, I'll tell you one thing. Yesterday, uh, I just uh, attended one interview uh, for uh, one of my uh, previous students. So they were asking me, they were asking me some uh, interview questions, like uh, it's a real time questions, like just uh, sample questions only. But uh, they what they said not they were directly display the data they they want they wrote the code like uh, please write the code and uh, all these things they were uh, they were asking even they were asking some theory also but they are asking some simple questions like display uh, top uh, 100 top 100 rows 1 to 100 and uh, display only even numbers and uh, how to remove duplicates and uh, yeah, uh, the, I told you right that Windows function row number dense range. I'll tell you these these sample questions they were asking, but they were uh, what they were said now they were telling me that please write it, open a notebook and please write it. Okay, uh, so they were asking. I uh, will discuss that questions as well. I'll tell you each and everything. Okay, we'll consider this table. Okay.
Uh, will it display the data now? Why it is not displaying? Invalid object. Okay, uh, so why uh, invalid object? Already table is there, there. It is there and uh, we are showing the data also, but it is displaying invalid object. Here data also is there, right? But while I am running here, it is showing error. Huh? What? Uh, what? 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 You have to observe one thing anytime. Whenever you are uh, querying now, where you are going to write, in which database you are going to write, what is your database for this, ta for this uh, table? In which database it is, it is having that uh, table? You have to check first that one exactly. If now I'm, I'm connecting the, my the session, by default it is taking master database, right? So obviously it doesn't have that record. It doesn't have the table in that master da master database. You have to check. You have to uh, change the database uh, wherever wherever exactly that uh, table is there. Okay. Then that time it will come properly. Yes. Okay. Please please uh, uh, careful whenever you are writing. If suppose you are reconnecting any you are. Uh, so suppose here, uh, what database it is showing? Here it is showing nothing. Like uh, now the connection was dis disconnected. The session was disconnected, right? So if I am going to reconnect the session, so obviously, obviously it is it is taking. This is the my reconnection phase. And obviously, it is taking master database only. Because master database is a core database whenever uh, system database. So by default, it is considering master database. Only. If you are writing something, if you are creating something, it will be generated in master database only. So uh, whenever you wrote any code, you have to uh, you have to mention exact that database. Only. Okay, please uh, remain this one. And, uh, yeah. Uh, here uh, we have one one result. This is one result, and uh, I have to take one more backup from the same table. But with the, I would like to insert uh, some other data also. So insert into. Let me first try. Okay, I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take one backup. Same data. So now I have two results here. This is my one record. This is my one one result set, and this is my another result set. Okay. Now I am going to enter another record also. Whatever in the employee or employee like what? 
while inserting the data which, which one i need to choose edit top 200 or else we can type insert into insert into employee values okay mostly you are you are trying to use the coi only okay character uh, user interface okay now here i am going to enter some records See here, uh, here uh, ID is what? Hello? Anybody please? Here it is saying I'm not going to enter any, any value for ID, but by default it is taking, right? So why it is taking? Have any idea? Yeah, don't worry. Whatever you, you have in mind, now, please uh, share with me. Because I, I am not entering any uh, any data, not entering any value for ID. It is taking. This ID is 1002, 1003. Uh, is it any chances to uh, dynamic activity for this particular ID? Yes, right. Something is there. That's why it is inserted, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So what is that? Exactly. What is that? You should know. What is that mean? So uh, we have to check. Yeah, we have to check that. Uh, Okay. Table structure is telling me that this is a identity column. This is a identity column. By default, it is inserted. Uh, yeah, inserted the values uh, one comma uh, ID value. But here it is. I think uh, ID is like one comma one, but the values will come 1001, 1002. Because I think whenever the created the table, uh, the identity column, it is the precision is they were entering. Just a second, I'll check the design also. So this is the design. Here, identity specification. Here, one option is there, right? Identity specification. Identity specification. Here, identity specification is, is identity, yes. So, but here, the, the increment on seed, one comma one only. I think uh, when I was creating this table, they were giving me thousand. So, after that, uh, it is it is considering same that thousand thousand one increment initially it will give you thousand and after that it will give one increment thousand one thousand two something like that so the table was not resetted because of that reason it will it will taking uh thousand two thousand three signs that, that that is the thing but actually here based on this condition it is considering only uh, one comma one only like it is it, it, it needs to come one after that two after that three same like that only okay don't worry uh, you understand now why it is coming automatically because the table and that particular column is having identity value okay please remind that now tell me in result set one it is having five records Okay, in result set two, it is having three records. If I, I if I would like to do the union part, how many records will come? 
this is the union this is the union operator it will combine two result sets please please remember one thing it will combine two result sets uh, it it is not working on a particular uh, columns it it is working on complete result set five records how many five five records five records yes okay uh, anybody hanvanto how many records will come no sir uh, agraj yeah it will come five records why it is coming five records they don't and uh, take the duplicate value yes because uh, raj mohan and james is already there in a uh, uh, employee even employee backup table also so it will consider and it will take it will take only um, unique values only it doesn't take uh, duplication now how many records will come this is the second set union the first one and union all okay union all it will it will consider and it will take uh, complete result set for uh, both the results okay so here i would like to share you one thing Uh, I am going to add one. Uh, uh, tell me. Uh, just a second. Ah, uh, please. Now, sir, uh, or else, uh, Hanuman, I would Sorry. like to insert one one more column for uh, employee back backup table. So that column is like. Uh, um, id first name last name country and uh, yeah whatever column like employee na so salary i would like to add one more column salary the data type is money data type how to do that okay. i want to add one more column to this table employee table okay how can i do that <laughs> SP rename. Do you understand my wait, question? Wait, 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 wait. One, one minute. Hmm. Ah, uh, alt up table. Yeah. Alt up table. Table name. Hmm. Table name. Alt up column. Alter column. Column name. Which column? Column name, sir. Ah, that's what I'm asking. Which column you are going to alter? Sir. Sir. New. Okay. Yeah, salary, salary. Ah, okay, okay, S L, okay, okay, salary. New data type, money, size. Money, money only. Money. Okay. Uh, there is no sale for money. Money default it is having some uh, value. But uh, tell me one thing. Uh, here you said is alter table table name. Uh, okay. Fine, that's that's your fine. So you are going to alter column. Alter column in the sense what? if you have a column already then only you can able to alter that column right we don't have this okay. column salary column what i'm saying i would okay. like to add one more column to my employee table okay table table add column name okay 
Yes. So here we have to add. The okay. Column. Add. 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 Now tell me, add. Add new column name. Add new column name. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Salary. Data type money. Add column, na? You have to mention this column. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Is it needed? Ah, uh, no, 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 not needed. Hmm. Only okay. add. Just add. Okay. Yeah. Now hmm. I am going to do uh, this one. So now, hmm. now I have a record. Uh, I am going to enter some. Uh, edit of two hundred. So here uh, I have one more column like um, yeah, uh, one thousand, two thousand, five thousand, three thousand. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, now, now tell me the uh, tell me the uh, tell me Padmajagar. Uh, so, if I run this result, how many records I will get? Uh, Same record, six records. Now I, I I have five records in employee table. Same. Backup table I have uh, same three records only. If I run this, if I run this code, how many records I will get? Five records. Five records. Yes. Sure. Eight. I think. Five. Five. Okay. I'll run. I'll run that. More records. What it is saying? Uh, All for is common. Column names are different. Column names are extra and column is very important. Yeah, please save the error. Please save the error. Yeah. See here what it is saying. All for is combined. Uh, don't mind. Please don't Using mind. Here. Uh, each and every letter you should read and if you have error or not, you should read carefully. Then you'll get answer in that error only. See what it is saying. All queries, all queries in the sense, queries in the sense, what queries in the sense? This is one query, right? Yes. This is one query, right? So here it is saying all queries combined using union intercept. Except operator, operator must have must, must have, have an yeah, equal yeah. number of expressions, expressions okay. in, in their target list. Okay, it is very clear, right? So, whenever you want to apply a set operator, set operator in the sense uh, union, union all, intercept and ex except, uh, I'll, 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 I'll do the. First, I'll write. Uh, set operator. We have These are the four uh, operators we can call set operators. Uh, it is uh, uh, it's a very very uh, like uh, we have mostly we are going to use in real time uh, scenarios as well. Whenever uh, suppose a one uh, thousand line stored procedures are there, 
in that stored procedure i would like to combine some result set uh, for that the, the set operators only is the best way and even interviewer also interviewer also they used to ask me some questions uh, the differences between union and union all what is mean by interset uh, without using joins we can do this operations by using set operators these things they were asking so please remain is a simple one set operators is the operators uh, it will uh, work on uh, 